Hello, hello. We're back on Brahma today with me, Elaine Hobla, and in the studio, I have our special guest. We're speaking to Zubair Afandi Omar, art consultant as well as artist. Hello and welcome to How are you doing today? Very welcome. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for coming back on in the studio. We have, of course, uh, something that's happening uh, in Grand Hyatt Kuala Lumpur. I understand there's, a, there's an art showcase called Appreciasi Sini and Rasa Malaysia. Now, perhaps you can tell us how this came about. Um, early January, mm -hmm. what happened was um, one of the Grand Hyatt managers yeah. happened to pass by our gallery okay. in the KLIA2. Right. And uh, he was very impressed with the presentation because right. you have the art panels and it's on a 20,000 square feet of floor space. So right. it's quite sizable. Right. So then he decided to give a call to me mm -hmm. and said, Is it possible for us to meet up and see if we can collaborate? Right. So from then on, we had uh, multiple meetings and discussion, and then from there, uh, we plan out for Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Because Grand Hyatt, in fact, last year, they had an art show with another art gallery. Right. So this time, they're giving us the chance mm -hmm. to have our own kind of presentation. So we did the floor plan layout, right. gave it to them, they agree, and okay. we gave quite a bit, I think more than uh, about 50 pieces of artwork mm -hmm. but only about 20 were selected okay these are realist, realism right. based on uh, uh, what do you call uh, actual you know you can see almost real kind of paintings right <laughs> uh, it's not contemporary or abstract art okay yeah. so this is in collaboration of course with Sire Pinang Art Colony is that yes, right? yes okay so Sire Pinang Art Colony and you're talking about realism perhaps you can give a little bit more uh, description of well, what realism or what, uh, what the paintings are like okay uh, <coughs> realism in, in terms of art is it can be figurative mm -hmm. it can be a, a human figure but mostly environment mm -hmm. uh, almost lifelike okay uh, for example, we have uh, there's one uh, art painting mm -hmm. <coughs> which is titled Ayam Sabong. Ayam what? Ayam Sabong. Sabong. Okay. Yeah, by one of our artists. Uh, right. His name is Raza Ismail. Sorry. So he did a lifelike figure where this man is actually holding up his chicken. Right. At the back, there's a container. So he was, in fact, he was trying to show that he just bathed the chicken. Oh, okay. Uh, so, from far, it looks like photograph. Right. But it's not. Ah, it's I all see. painting. That's realism. Okay. It's close to... Oh, close. As, yeah, it's almost similar to a photograph, but okay. it's not. Okay. Um, now, uh, th I'm, I'm sure uh, the whole series that you have shared will have some kind of uh, a theme. Is there a theme that we're talking about, you know? Because it's called Appreciation Sunny. Uh, what are we looking at? What are the main pictures that will be on display? Okay. The theme uh, are more related towards the Malay culture okay. and also uh, heritage, right. because it's Ramadan, mm -hmm. so you have that we want to have that Balik Kampung kind of feel. Right. So some of the paintings depicts the landscape of uh, uh, Kampung or Kampung. Uh, on a uh, house on watercolor. Only using right. watercolor. Right. I can see some of the pictures yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that are being on display. So, so very vi some some are very vibrant in color. Yeah. And I understand that some of your pieces are also uh, on display as yes, well. Yes. Yes. Okay. I got two pieces there. Okay. Uh, there's one I titled it Yin and Yang, which depicts two fish. Right. Well, instead of having a black and white, so I do a two koi fish. Yeah, you can together. see this. Yeah. This is emergence. 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 So right. it's. It's realism, uh -huh. but it's uh, it's a bit a bit of contemporary, but it's not so much contemporary. Okay. So you can see the fish. Yes. You can see the background. Yes. So the title emergence means you rise to the occasion. All right. So whatever happens, you rise up, ah, and you'll be on top. Right. That's the yeah. reason behind the name emergence. Yeah. Now here we see it's happening from the sixth of June, twenty sixteen, to the first of July. Yes. So uh, it be it'll be ending this Friday. So yes. if anybody who wants to catch it, you can still catch the art exhibition uh, or showcase that's happening at the Grand Hyatt Kuala Lumpur. Now uh, I understand the duration is for uh, only for a short period. Uh, would you be looking at any other further collaboration in future, or will this be extended? Uh, what? We are trying. We are trying. We are negotiating with Grand High Kuala Lumpur mm -hmm. if they can allow us mm -hmm. a mini space mm -hmm. for us to have a, a, a small, continuous, a continuous, right. yeah, with Grand Hyatt. Okay. Because um, 
something will be happening in Grahana on mm -hmm. the 20th of July. Mm -hmm. I cannot disclose. Okay, secret. So, All right. So but, uh, later, Mr. Suresh will explain right. what's going to happen on the 20th. Okay. So there will be a showcase there. Right. So uh, we are actually looking at, and um, the Grand Hyatt Management, mm -hmm. they are also considering mm -hmm. to have this collaboration to mm -hmm. be continued right. further. Right. And of course, the theme will be, ch uh, will be uh, changed in accordance to the uh, event or whatever they're having in Grand Hyatt. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, just refresh our memory for those who are not familiar. What is Sirei Pina Art Colony? Okay, Sirei Pina Art Colony is basically Sirei Pina mm -hmm. means um, it relates to the Malay culture. Okay. Where uh, we, what we're trying to do here is trying to uh, create awareness mm -hmm. to the younger generation yeah. about um, the courteousness the politeness okay. and the respect right. within the Malay culture itself right. where in those days let's say you have a ha somebody comes to your house mm -hmm. a kampong house mm -hmm. you have the veranda mm -hmm. you don't you don't even know that person right. what you do is just invite him in right. please come in right. the first thing that you serve is the siri mm -hmm. the pinang mm -hmm. the gambe mm -hmm. and also the the lime right. so as an uh, we call it Pembuka Kata as an opening, introduction. Mm -hmm. Say, how are you? Where you're from? Right. So that person, if he has intention, if, if we don't know good or bad intention, but we still invite him in. Right. Then after that, what will happen? The coffee will come in. Right. And then the, what do you call it? Roti kering, mm -hmm. the rough, yeah, the dry bread right. will come in. Okay. Then later, we ask that person, have you eaten? He said, no. Okay, let's eat together. Mm -hmm. So that's how the Malay culture is. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, if you look at the Syria and Pinang combination, if uh, there's a medicinal uh, purposes, right. Syria and Pinang combined is also partly becomes an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. It helps to uh, boost up your immune system. Right. Plus, the lime is alkali. Nowadays, you can see alkali water right. to reduce acidity for your body. Yeah. But those days, the older people have been taking that for years right. and you can see them an 80 year old man climbing up the coconut tree <laughs> and there's no sinusitis there's no yeah. flu there's no all these modern kind of uh, problems yeah. uh, so we are trying to create that awareness right. and art colony is because we are a group of artists right. uh, we are not operating like a, a singular singular or traditional art gallery private art gallery right. Uh, that's why our tagline is by the artist to the world. Right. So we sell we we sell directly mm -hmm. to the end user or potential collectors. Right. So at least uh, we have the chance to allow uh, the art the, the artist members to have some income from there. Yeah. Because uh, most of the galleries, private galleries, they only take renowned or established artists. Right. What about the upcoming? Yeah. Where are they going to get the opportunity? Exactly. How are they going to be able to be exposed yes. and become renowned? Exactly. Right. Or some of the graduates. Right. Where are they going to Who be have exposed? talent yes. but not exposure. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So now, uh, I, I like that idea of the Sri Pinang where you're bringing back the community value or the communal value. Uh, and uh, this seems like a sharing platform or sharing space where they're able to, like you say, you know, bring artists together to be able to give them a platform. They may not be known yet, but they have talent and it's supporting the local artist so that it has the potential to grow. Now, this collaboration seems like it's going in that same direction with Grand Hyatt as well. Um, how has their response been in, in, in terms of being able to uh, have this space for exposure? How has it benefited the, the artists or the colony itself? Uh, having this collaboration, mm -hmm. uh, because the news, not just uh, re regarding this exhibition, Grand Hyatt has actually posted in their web page mm -hmm. And it goes across all the Hyatt and Hyatt Regency, the Hyatt group, all right. over the world. Right. So it's indirectly announcing, and I mean, it's a it's a good publicity for us, right. and and it opened the doors for opportunities for future collaboration. Maybe not Hyatt Kolong, go our other Hyatts right. in different parts of the world. Right. And the artists who took part in this uh, exhibition, mm -hmm. uh, for them, it's a good exposure, mm -hmm. and at least. They have, been, I mean, it's being recognized. Mm -hmm. You know, they have taken part in Grand Hyatt yeah. uh, Art Showcase. Yeah. So, uh, we have uh, good response. Right. 
uh, in fact, some of the art pieces have been reserved. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's great. And uh, so far, the total value mm -hmm. of art pieces for this Grand High Show is about 300,000. Okay. Uh, what, 20 pieces. Right. So, it's different art piece, different price. Right, yeah. okay. Now, uh, one final question before we end. Uh, what what do you hope to be able to achieve? I mean, next for Syria Pinang Colony, uh, is there any plans uh, that we can uh, look out for in the near future? Okay, the future plan for Syria Pinang is not just to have the numbers of artists. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, anyone can become an artist. Mm -hmm. And who wants to become a member, you can come to mm -hmm. us. Registration is a free membership. Right. Uh, and, and then, uh, and what we want to do is to educate mm -hmm. the Malaysian society, mm -hmm. the public basically, how to appreciate art. Mm -hmm. Because right now, if you go to Europe, you go to France, mm -hmm. anyone just start at the roadside and start to paint. Yeah, yeah. People will crowd around, look yeah. at it, they appreciate art. Yes. We and need to have this appreciation here. Yeah. First, create awareness, appreciation. Yeah. Second yeah. thing, the value. Right, yeah. In terms of financial. Right. Because in Europe, US and Australia, mm -hmm. they have used it as a mortgage to wow. okay. as a financial yeah. facility. Yeah. So we're, we're getting there one day. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. Hopefully so we'll get there. For Malaysian market is still at the infant stage. Right. But, but you have to start somewhere yeah, in somewhere. order for you to be able exactly. to get there. Yeah, this is what we're doing. Right. Thank you yeah. very much. And uh, if you want to find out a little bit more about the Syria Pinang Art Colony, of course, you can go to the Facebook page. Uh, and you've got uh, other yeah, web websites as uh, well. Facebook, we use Syria, Syria Pinang Art Colony. Right. Facebook, you can actually search for it. Right. Uh, we prefer to use Facebook because we can get response directly from the public. And interaction. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very yeah, much, Dave, you. for your time. Uh, coming up, we'll be speaking to um, Mr. Suresh Govindasamy, Director of F&B of uh, Grand Hyatt Kuala Lumpur, for their side of the story, as well as the food that comes with this whole collaboration. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.